The Daily Front Row Show is back with all the delicious moments from New York Fashion Week and beyond. Yes, that is a spaceship. We'll get to that later. We're taking you to the front row and backstage to meet the models, designers, and insiders who make it all happen. If you want to know what you're going to be wearing in fall 2018, stay tuned. This year, the Daily Front Row celebrated their 15th anniversary, covering Fashion Week with an exclusive dinner at Scarpetta, where models, designers, a puppet, and two fashion legends, wing wink, came to wish us well. And let's make a toast to the Daily. I will bathe my diet bowl. Happy 15th birthday, Daily Front Row. I love you guys and I appreciate your support so much. Have a good one. Happy Fashion Month. Another player celebrating their anniversary is designer Dennis Basso, who celebrates 35 years in the business this year. The designer brought his show to a church on Park Avenue for a religious experience. I love the venue, I love the stained glass, I love the feeling, I don't mind being close to the Lord. We got up with super mod Hilary Roder for a quick game of Heads Up. Uh, producer of Saturday Night Live, Lauren Michaels. Borat actor. Sasha Baron Cohen. Most famous rapper of all time. Jay-Z? Okay, second most oh. famous. Um, um, has a clothing line. John? Puff, Puff Daddy, Puff Daddy. NBC, legendary actor. Elaine was on the show. Yada, 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 George. Which, which show? Actor on NBC in the 90s. Like, really well known. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Matt LeBlanc? No. No, uh, Thursday night at 9 o'clock? Come on, this is really easy. Oh. Your body is a Wonderland singer. I mean, he gets around. John Mayer. Died tragically. Um, had a big bouffant. OD'd British. Uh, big makeup. Oh. <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was Amy Winehouse. Oh. That was awesome. Another designer taking the fashion to church this year was newcomer Linda, who showed at St. Mark's Church. Are you seeing a trend here? Backstage, we talked to hairstylist Peter Gray, who filled us in on the looks. On this, we're using a 12 Fashion Work Spray. It's like a soft, workable hairspray. We're only spraying it at the roots. Instead of kind of doing the classic hairdresser hairspray everywhere, we're actually applying it just to the roots. Much like a guy would apply a wax or a clay to his hair. So it kind of gives you a little bit more of that lived-in feel. We're using, for finishing touches, we're using the windblown number five, and that just gives you like a little bit of a drier, matte texture all the way through. The number relates to the strength of hold of the product, so it gives you an idea. And that's the great thing about Redken is that like, it, it is what it says. So this is a fairly low hold hairspray. There's an 18, a 23 and a 32. And the windblowns are very light hold and really what it's about is a matte um, powdery finish. I mean, it's numeric, which is fantastic for us hairdressers. 